Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm uh, here. <laughs> good, perfect. Lo contactaron de, de el administrador, no? No, teacher. Y fíjese que busquen los otros, como usted me dijo, pero no, nada, ni en spam, ni nada. Me han dejado en el olvido. <laughs> Ah, de verdad. Sí, mire, bien raro. Bien raro, definitivamente. Entonces, bueno, como, como ya vamos a ver qué dice, porque también he reportado a otros estudiantes, ¿verdad? Ojalá que los haya contactado a ellos. Ah, y siempre Insa, ¿por qué nos va a proporcionar? Según lo que tengo entendido, sí. Sí, ellos son ah, los, que, los que van a trabajar con eso, pero eh, no sé cómo lo maneja la administración. Entonces ellos son los que, los que deciden eh, la dinámica de matrícula y todo lo demás. Teacher, y en este caso una preguntita. Nosotros, si es que pasamos, pasaríamos al siguiente, al intermedio, ¿cuál? Al intermedio, sí, creería yo que sí. Pero como lo Ajá. que pasa es que los cursos de INSAFOR son un poquito más intensivos. Ah, no, no son cursos, sí. eh, por ejemplo, este solo es una hora. Intensivos son dos horas a la semana, dos horas al día, perdón. Serían diez horas a la semana, entonces ya es algo más, más constante. No solo ya sería de lunes a viernes. De lunes a viernes, dos horas a la semana, correcto. Entonces ya no es tan... tan o sea, hay más tiempo para practicar, pues a eso me refiero. Sí, Entonces, sí. Uh -huh. Pero, Primero Dios que sigamos. Sí, ojalá que sí. Ojalá sí, que ya, sí. Así es. Sí, porque es bueno aprender, estamos aprendiendo. Correcto. Correcto. La cosa es nunca dejar de aprender, ¿verdad? That's the purpose. Sí, así es. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Jesse. How are you? Saúl. Se fue Abigail y se metió Saúl. Hi, Saúl. How are you? Fine. Perfect. Perfect. I'm glad to hear that. So, I think we're going to start. ¿Cuántos tenemos? Tenemos tres. Esperemos dos personitas más, por lo menos, o uno más, para empezar con la clase. Vamos a seguir siempre con el simple past or the past simple. Right? So we can start with the activities that we're going to do. We, today we're going to do a lot of practice. Right? Uh, it's going to be practice in group uh, or as a, a, like in a small groups as well. Okay. Okay. Yes. Hello, Nancy. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. ¿Se pudo conectar, Nancy? Eh, fíjese de que no lo pude hacer en el celular, pero como el, la, la pantalla es bien chiquita, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. me costó ver. Eh, ahí logré avanzar un poco, pero, pero sí, no sé qué pasó. Fíjese que. Eh, la primera vez que entré sí me pidió la clave y de ahí nunca más hasta hoy pero no, no sé quién me podría ayudar ya le envié la información al, al chico a cargo eh, al, al que está trabajando en eso eh, pero no la contactó entonces no, no, no me contactó entonces, y trató de ponerle de, de ponerle ahí cuando dice reset password, no eh, le puse la clave que nos habían dado, que fue la que él me dio Ajá. en un momento y, y no intenté tres veces o cuatro y de ahí me lo bloqueó. ¿Y cuando se lo bloquea no le dice resetear contraseña o no. password? No, me dice este quiere cambiar contraseña, pero Ajá. la vez pasada que sucedió eso, eh, me dijeron que ellos me tenían que mandar la clave. Me la mandaron y me dieron la misma. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Y ya con esa pude entrar 
y ya no, ni siquiera me la pedía. Mm. Y uno, tres, cuatro, cinco, no le sirvió para nada tampoco. ¿verdad? No, 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 no me sirvió, no pude entrar. En el teléfono sí pude entrar porque ya la tenía guardada, pero, pero sí es un poco más difícil hacer, hacerla, más que todos los, los exámenes, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, más que todo eso. Bueno, pero espero que la contacte porque ya para el viernes tendría que estar ya completo todo sí. eso, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, I, sí. Really, I really, really hope que, que la contacten. Right? Sí. Y sí. si no, yo le voy a hacer una llamadita, no hacer solo por WhatsApp, sino que una llamadita para que le, le digan, ¿verdad? Sí, por favor, teacher. Gracias. Perfect. Uh, so, let's just start here. I would like to know what we're going to do right now. Uh, we're going to remember, we're going to make a quick review of what we did yesterday, right? And I would like to know here, if you can tell me what are the things that you remember from yesterday. ¿Qué recuerdan de ayer? De la clase de Affirmative, en negative, and question. Okay, you remember affirmatives. Eh, mm -hmm. Negative and question. Eh, okay. ahora, ahora change the, the words of the application. <laughs> okay, affirmative. Okay, let me see. Affirmative, negative. In questions, very good. Question. In which, te what tense are we using? What is the tense that we're using here? Are we using? Oh, okay, very good. Simple past. Okay, very good. Simple past. Very good. We're using simple past. That's perfect. And for simple past, we have affirmative, negative, and questions. Very right. good. Now, let me say, have a few people already. Oh, nice. I have eight people. Perfect. Esmeralda. Sorry. Es... Oh, okay. Sorry, but I, I don't have the email that you said at, in the afternoon. Okay. Envíeme un WhatsApp y le estaría diciendo al chico hoy para que la, mañana, de hecho, para que la contacte hoy. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Sí. Thank okay, you. perfect. Thank you, Catherine. So, eh, también le voy a estar enviando, permítame. ¿Saben qué? Lo voy a hacer ahorita. Uh, give me a second. Ya que estamos todos aquí. Give me one moment. Teacher, a mí tampoco me cayó el correo. Estuve revisando ahí. Todos vamos a hacer lo mismo, ¿ok? Todos eh, me avisan que no les cayó, pero necesito que me envíen un correo, un correo, <ríe> un WhatsApp eh, con su nombre y su nombre y diciéndome que no les cayó. Así yo le informo al chico. Él ha prometido que le va, lo va a estar contactando a cada uno para explicarles de qué se trata cada correo. Yo le voy a dar ahorita, eh, permítame, tengo muchos mensajes acá. Ok, aquí vamos ya. Le voy a mandar ahorita mismo dos flyers que me mandaron de los pasos que se deben seguir para comenzar los cursos nuevos. Sin embargo, yo sé que esta información puede ser un poco confusa. Si a pesar de que, de que leemos los dos documentos, ¿verdad? No, aún no, no, no nos queda muy claro. En los documentos están dos, eh, como les dijera, dos contactos. A todos les cayeron ya esos, esos documentos. Right. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Those are the documents that we're using right now as English Corporativo, right, for INSA for courses. Pero yo no les puedo dar mucha información. Estos son los pasos que ellos muestran para inscribirse, right, todos los requisitos que se necesitan. Y este es el, esta es la persona, miren, que yo les digo a ustedes que lo va a estar contactando, Jonathan Guzmán, right. Él es el único que, que les puede dar como los pasos más seguros. Yo les puedo dar información general, ¿verdad? Estos son los niveles que se tienen que llevar para completar los cursos eh, 100% financiados por Insafor. Entonces, ellos les explican cómo es la dinámica. Entonces, es, es una beca, pero es una beca que está prácticamente 
uh, y se proporciona a través de las empresas. Entonces ellos le van, a, le van a explicar. Y siempre acá les dan la información de las personas con las que se pueden comunicar, ya sea por teléfono, por WhatsApp o por correo electrónico. ¿Verdad? Entonces, para que vean aquí que también ha habido agente, promociones anteriores de graduados de inglés para el trabajo de Insafor. Okay. Right? So, that's, that's the information I can give you. Esa es la información okay. que yo les puedo proporcionar. Léanla después de clase. Ahorita olvidémonos de eso. Léanla después de clase. ¿Verdad? Y ahí están los dos, los dos, los tres contactos, de hecho. ¿Verdad? Yo siempre le voy a dar un seguimiento. Por ejemplo, Catherine, ya veo que me envió su, su WhatsApp con la información. Yo siempre se la estaría enviando a Jonathan eh, mañana por la mañana, después de la clase de las 10. ¿Ok? ¿Good? Ok, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, ¿Qué estábamos haciendo? Ya se me olvidó. Pero ya le dan, no me dejan. Simple pass. A simple Remember. pass. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Saúl. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, we were talking about simple pass. Right? Okay, very good. So, Angel told me that we're talking with affirmative, negative, and questions. And Saúl told me that we're working with simple pass. Right? So, Esmeralda, can you give me an example of affirmative uh, sentences? What could be an example of this? Affirmative, I watch television yesterday. I watch television or TV. Oh, yes, TV. Yeah, you can say both. Both are okay. Yesterday. Very good. What would be the negative form here for this uh, sentence uh, right here? Let's see, Catherine. Okay. I watched TV. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the positive form. What would be the negative? I didn't okay. watch TV yesterday. I didn't watch TV yesterday. Very good. And I need you to give me the question for this, Margarita. <clears throat> TV yesterday. Did you watch TV yesterday? Okay, very good. What else do we need to answer these questions? What do we need? What is one thing that we need here, Abigail? How can you how can you answer to these questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, the, yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. Very good. Or? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good, Nancy. Very good. No, I didn't. Perfect. How do you call these two, two answers? How, what's the name of these two answers? How do you call them? Short answers. Very good, Margarita. Very good. Sin miedo. Okay, short sure answers. Very good. So this is what we did yesterday, right? We practice this type of structure, right? How do you call these verbs? Like what type of verbs do we use in simple past? We use two type of verbs. Which are they? Irregular and regular. Perfect. We use irregular and regular verbs. Verbs. Very good. Very good. Irregular and regular verbs. What type of verb is this? Is this regular or irregular? Regular verb. Regular verb. It's a regular verb. Very good. Very good. Now, this is what we did yesterday, right? So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to see this part. Look at this. This is, um, let's say, a rule, right, that we're going to use, right? When we have a verb, for example, like this, can you see my, my, my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. 
So what we're going to do is that we're going to pay attention to the ending, right? To the ending of the verbs, right? For example, if you have a verb that ends in E, right? This letter right here, the only thing that you're going to add is a D at the end. Para los que me dicen, ¿y cómo se voy, voy a escribir yo los regular verbs? ¿Cómo voy a saber que esto está pasando? Right? So that's the only way. We're going to respect the rules. Right? Uh, ¿Vieron esta imagen ayer? Ayer se las envié, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿vieron la imagen? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So, what we're going to do right now is that we have different type of verbs. And this is the way they, are, they change when they are in past. Right. ¿Cuál sería otro verbo que ustedes conocen that ends with E? What's another verb that you know that ends with an E? Besides live, stir, what would be another one? Mm -hmm. um, What's another verb? Right. What is another verb that ends with E? What would be another example? Aquí está... ¿Me escucha, Margarita? Sí, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'm asking right now examples of verbs, right? Tenemos el primer verbo. The first verb is live. Right? So, we need to pay attention because... Teacher. Yes? It's a give. Give. Okay, very give. good. Give. Very good. Pero ¿qué pasa con este verbo? ¿Qué cree que pasa con este verbo? This is not a regular verb. Irregular. Yes. This is an irregular verb. Because when it comes to past tense, this verb is gave. Gave. Mm -hmm. yes. it's, it's totally different. Me va a decir, ¿y entonces cómo voy a hacer yo para aprendérmelos? Right? That's the only way, right? La única forma es creando nosotros nuestras listas de verbos, right? Y irlos ya practicando. That's the only way, okay? But good example. Thank you for that example. Así vemos la diferencia entre regulares e irregulares. What would be another verb? We're looking for verbs that ends with E. Another one? Have, have, teacher. Okay, we have have. Have. Live, teacher. Okay. If we have have, okay, give me a second. This verb is irregular because the past tense is have. Have. Exactly, right? So this one doesn't count. Right? Arrive. Arrive. Very good. We have arrive. Arrive. This one counts as with E and then. In the past tense, the only thing that we're going to do is to add a D, arrived, right? Eso es lo único que vamos a hacer, right? Arrived. Then we have different verbs, right? If you have a verb that ends in a vowel plus a Y, so it would be stay, right? Tenemos una vocal más una, pues la consonante Y. What we're going to do is that we're going to add ed, right? So we have stay, we have play. What would be another one that you can think of? Say. What's another one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Say, teacher. Say, okay. What do you think about say? Say is irregular. Ah, okay. Okay, I really hope you're taking notes. Espero que estén tomando las notas, right? For the irregular verbs, right? Okay, what would be another one? So this way, right, that's what we're going to do. Quiero saber si entendemos más o menos qué es lo que estamos haciendo con los verbos. Do we understand what we're doing? Is it clear? Hello. Entendemos Hello. qué estamos haciendo con los verbos. Yes. 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 
Yes. Are you sure? Estamos seguros. Sin pena. Ya saben que conmigo no tienen que tener pena. Si no entendemos, <risa> tienen que preguntar, porque si no, todos nos vamos a... Yo voy a confiar de que entendieron y tal vez en las evaluaciones, sorry, eh, no, va, no vamos a, a salir tan bien como esperamos porque nos preguntamos. I want to know. Tell me. Is everything clear? Teacher, pero ¿cómo sabemos cuándo es irregular o regular? ¿Cómo lo vamos a identificar? La única forma, Margarita, es aprendiéndonos los verbos. Muchas personas dicen, ah, ah no, no, no te aprendas la lista de verbos porque no funciona. Yes, it works. La lingüística dice que podemos aprendernos los verbos para ir practicando. Right? Por ejemplo, eh, en, ahorita en esta clase ya tenemos dos ejercicios que nos han mostrado los verbos regulares. Este, right? This exercise is just with regular verbs. And this exercise is just with regular verbs. So lo, lo que tenemos que hacer como estudiantes es tomar nuestras notas, eh, nuestros apuntes, tratar de, de, de familiarizarnos con esos verbos regulares. Right? Porque aquí ya tienen dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, diez. Y we have already ten verbs. Solo en esta diapositiva ya tenemos diez. Right? That's what we need to do. To memorize, to practice. Los memorizamos, pero también los ponemos en contexto. Right? For example, if I say I live, I can say I lived in I lived in Zacatecoluca uh, last year, right? Entonces ya lo estoy usando el verbo, no solo me lo aprendo porque sí, sino que ya lo estoy utilizando en un contexto real, right? That's the only way. Good. So, do you have a question about this? Questions? Saul? No. No? Okay. Chair. Yes, no. chair. Any question? Yeah. Uh, in, the, um, in the palabra rip, ripper, or no sé cómo rip. se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Ajá. Pero cuando yo busqué la traducción, uh -huh. me aparecía, o sea, entendí que era que en paz descanse. No sé si en inglés es tiene o, o falleció o murió o algo así, porque no entendí uh -huh. realmente. Okay, no, don't worry. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We have rip meaning. Can you see my 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 computer? No, not yet, right? No. Okay, we have two different things. When we have rip, like uh, like Nancy saying, right, is when a person you know dies, right? The other rip is when you are taking things off right when you're like you you're fighting for example you're, you're you're fighting and then you have the chair like this and it's destroyed cuando están peleando por ejemplo y alguien le arruinó la camisa right ya han visto esas peleas todas violentas que están peleando y se, se decarran okay so that that sí. means rip right then you take this right and it's destroyed right so i'm gonna show you right now the meaning Give me one second. Okay, very good. Look at here the meaning. This is the meaning. When you want to know the meaning in English, you just put the word plus the word meaning. Eso significa significado, right? So if you have it like this, right? It says tear or pull something quickly and, or forcibly away from something or someone, right? So it means that you're going to take something very fast, right? Va a agarrar algo muy fuerte, right? So that's what we have. El que usted encontró es este, correcto? Cuando alguien se muere, que le yes, ponen rip, right? Pero rip lo que significa es prácticamente un acrónimo. ¿Saben qué es un acrónimo? Un no. acrónimo es cuando tenemos tres, um, o bueno, una palabra por cada letra, right? So, RIP in reality right. means rest in, sorry, in peace. Right. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Descansa en paz. 
exactly. That will be rib. Look at this. Right? So it's totally different, right? Okay. So do you see the difference now, Nancy? Yes, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. So let's continue. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something else, right? This is this uh, slide is for writing, right? For everything that you need to write, you need to know the spelling rules. Como se escribe, como se letra el, el verbo regular. But with regular verbs, it's important also the pronunciation. Los que ya vimos el video de la sección 4, ya vimos que la pronunciación es importante, right? So in pronunciation, we need to pay attention to this. And with a regular verse, we have three, three types of pronunciations. This, yeah. right? And we yeah. also, we have, t and yeah. the, right, this, this, and this, right? That's what we have with pronunciation. We have three types of pronunciations. Now, what are we going to do to practice this pronunciation? We're going to start with the ones in the middle, right? Look at this. We have some letters, right? Some letters here. These letters right here, they represent the last letter of the verb, right? Representa la letra del verbo pero en la forma base, right? That's what they do, right? For example, if I have the verb help, the last letter is letter P, P. right? So because if it's letter P, it goes in the middle, right? So the sound, when it's in past tense, right? We are not going to say help it, no. We're going to say helped. Helped, right? Help. Helped, exactly, Help. very good. So Help. If, I, if, if I have Help. all of these verbs here, Help. listen, all of these verbs, they will end with P, K, F, G, H. Nos vamos a fijar en los verbos, en, la, en, la, en cómo los verbos finalizan en su base form. Eso es lo que vamos a poner atención, right? No vamos a poner atención a todo porque todos ahorita todos terminan en D, right? So it doesn't matter, right? So for example, if I have a verb, I have this verb. I'm going to show you here. My next verb is work. In which of the options are, am I going to put this? Number one, two, or three? One, e two, or three. Two. Number two. Very two. good. Number two, two because ends Four. with a K. Four. Right? It ends with a K. And this is here. Right? So what would be the pronunciation of this verb in pass? What's the pronunciation? Is it okay Four. if I say Four. exactly? Very good. Worked. 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 Work. En, la forma base, vamos, en la forma base decimos work, right? El work. sonido final viene de acá. Pero en pasado, vamos a, en pasado vamos a decir worked. Work. Y el sonido viene de acá. Work. De la parte work. de aquí de la, de, la, de, la, de la boca. Ya no viene de work. la garganta, sino work. que viene de acá. ¿Es that clear? Work. Work. ¿Es that clear? Yes. Work. Yes. Work. Ok. Yes. okay. Yes. okay. Vamos a practicar en un momento. Ok, vamos a practicar en un momento. So, that's what we have. This is for the second rule. For, the, uh, for number three, this is the, right? Like, these are the letters that we're going to pay attention to. Right? Yes, uh, Catherine? Do you have a question? Catherine? Sorry. Ok. <laughs> now. These are the letters that we're going to use, right, for us to make the sounds, right? So I have cold, cleaned, offered, 
¿Cómo vamos a hacer este sonido de la D? Porque no es una D en realidad, sino que es un sonido parecido al de la D. Pero ese es el símbolo que queremos hacer. Right. Ese sonido, para emitir ese sonido, what we're going to do is that we're going to put the tip of the tongue behind the teeth. Right here. Right. Oh. So we're going to say cold, clean. Listen. Offered. 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 Damaged. Loved. Used. Amazed. Robbed. Claimed. Okay. No suena como te, no suena ch, ch, ch. In number two, the sound needs to Man. end like this. Ch, ch, ch. In number three, it needs to end with the. Is that clear? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay. Maybe. Okay, Maybe. let's practice. Let's practice. ¿Qué vamos a poner atención? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo vamos a saber nosotros que estamos pronunciando correctamente? Necesito que pongan atención a estas dos palabras. Voiceless and voiced. Okay? Estas dos van así como unidas. Right? They are together. Right? They are together. So if I have number two, like ch sound, I need to have a voiceless sound. ¿Cómo voy a saber que estoy pronunciando el verbo de forma correcta? Tiene que ser un sonido voiceless. Para eso, cada vez que yo pronuncio el verbo, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. You put your hand, right, in front of your mouth, right, in front of the mouth, and once you pronounce the word, the verb, there needs to be some air, right? Help, looked, sniffed, laughed. Tiene que haber un poquitito de aire que ustedes sientan en, en su palma de la mano. Right? So you put there. Right? Your hand in front of the mouth. Right? Helped. Looked. Sniffed. Si sienten ese poquito de airecito, no es un montón, no, like, no, no, no. no. Right? It's just a little bit. Right? A little bit. Si lo sienten en la palma de su mano, then the pronunciation is good. Right? Is that clear? Is that clear? No? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes, Good. Okay, now let's okay. practice. Let's see the voice. Do you have a question? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I have a chat. Let's see. Oh, okay. Jessica, it's okay. I have here uh, the that sound. This sound is voiced, right? Since the sound is voiced, what we're going to do is that we're going to put two fingers, right? The two fingers, we're going to put them on the throat, right here, okay? So once you make the pronunciation, it needs to vibrate. Tiene que haber una vibración, pero es pequeñita, right? So I need to say cold, clean, offered, damaged. Si no sienten esa pequeña pro, eh, vibración, when you make the pronunciation, it's not correct. Okay? Is that clear? And then, yes, teacher. Okay, good. And then we have these two letters. With these two letters, the only thing that we're going to do is to say ED, right? Like wanted, needed, or well, if we have this, for example, ends with T, waited, mm -hmm. right? We just add an extra syllable when we speak, right? So, are we clear with this pronunciation of tips? So, so? So, so, teacher. So, so. What's your question, Nancy? Tell me. Nancy, what's your question? The practice, the practice. For oh yeah, the, the practice. We're going to mm. do practice once we, we start with the exercises and we're going to start with the exercises right now, okay? So, can you see my, my computer right now? Yes. Okay, very good. We have these verbs right here. It says complete these sentences in the past tense using the correct verb. 
So can you please read this verse for me, Miguel? Okay, play, enjoy, watch, listen, talk, fall, stop, walk, travel, like, stay. Very good, very good. If you listen to Miguel, the pronunciation was perfect. Very good, right? No pronunció ningún verbo en pasado, solo los verbos que estamos mostrando, right? Very good. The example says, I watched the late film on TV last night, right? So what we're gonna do is that we are going to use these verbs, we're going to use these verbs to complete this exercise, right? We have 10 sentences here. We don't know where to put the verbs. En este ejercicio anterior que hicimos, ya sabíamos qué verbo íbamos a utilizar, ¿correcto? Right, in this That's other, right. in this other verb, it's going to be a little bit difficult because we need to pay attention to the information on the sentences, okay? So we need to be very, very careful. Now, for example, if I say, we really, the mm. concert last night, it was great. What verb do you think I need to use from this list? list. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed, very good, very good, enjoyed. So we say, we really enjoyed the concert last night. It was great. Very good. You see? Easy peasy. Right? Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to send this information to your WhatsApps. Let me see here. And I am going to uh, put you in groups. We need to do this quick, right? No, let me put here. So we can work together. Do you have a question before we start? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes que comencemos? ¿Entienden qué es lo que vamos a trabajar? No, yes, maybe. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, everyone? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so very good. So let's go ahead and start here. We're going to work in groups of three. Okay, let's start right now. Let's join the groups. You already have the exercise and then we continue. Let's see. Let's go, let's go. Very good. Perfect, Jesse, Nancy, Jessica, Margarita, Saul, Nancy, Jessica, Saul. Jessica. Saúl. Okay, perfect. Travel. Yes, with ED. Traveled. Travel. Okay. With friends in Brighton last summer. Number three. In Brighton. Very good. Very good. You're doing good. Perfect. Number three. Italy. Uh, Play. Are you? Ahorita estoy viendo she with friend with some. Good friend with some last summer. Travel. It's travel. Yes. Travel. Mm -hmm. Travel, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. no? Hola, buenas noches. Hello, Jesse. Hello. Jesse, welcome. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Que la Jessie tiene mal el, el micrófono, así que... Hola, 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 hola. 
Hola, hola. Hola, hola ya sé. Hello. Reviví. <risa> hello, good evening. Good evening. Very good. <risa> no sé qué, me disculpo porque no sé qué en realidad está como que quizás cortado, pero aquí soy ya. <risa> ok, perfect. You're going to practice with Angel and Nancy right now, ok? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, continue, please. I want to listen to you. And number two, read. Really. Sentences number two. Mm -hmm. What is the word? Number two. Two. With friend brings some blood somber. She stay. Her pardon. Wait. Okay, Angel. Angel? Yes, teacher. Open your mouth yes, when you speak. Open your mouth when you speak. Tenemos, siempre cuando empezamos a hablar inglés, tenemos una mala concepción que creemos que entre más cerramos la boca, vamos a, sonar, a escucharnos bien. Tenemos que abrir la boca cuando estamos aprendiendo so we can articulate the sounds. We can make, we make sure that we pronounce correctly. Porque a veces creemos que okay, decir, hello, my name is Zuru, Zuru. No, people is not going to understand you, right? So we need to uh, abrir, open the mouth, right? So we can uh, listen to you, okay? Okay, teacher, okay. okay <laughs> no se preocupe, Thanks. todos lo hemos hecho, so don't worry. Oh. <laughs> uh, continue. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's learning. Yeah. Ese es el aprendizaje. Right? Don't worry. All the words complete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no sé. Perdón, eh, la laminita. La laminita que estamos viendo es la pronunciación de el ID con T y, y los verbos con D. Yes, but we're working ah. on the on the exercise that I just sent you. Okay. Esmeralda, what's the answer? We really. Yeah, we really enjoyed the concert last night. In which in which number are you right now, Angel and Esmeralda? Number Repeat, two, teacher, I don't understand. In which number are you right now? Number two, number three, number four? Uh, number two. Number okay, two. Okay, continue. It's very difficult. Very yes. Difficult. yes. And, and I didn't. <laughs> no me preguntó. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's okay. try. Mm -hmm. Si no nos equivocamos, no vamos a aprender, so don't worry. Yeah. Okay, number nine, like. <laughs> Yo estoy haciendo desordenado. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Para avanzar. Ok, go ahead. Go ahead. We're okay. together right now. Me voy a ir porque, porque creo que necesitan privacidad. So I, I will go, ok? <laughs> One second. Bye, teacher. Bye. Viendo. Yo, ajá, será walk. Camino. Ajá. Yo caminé, yo caminé por cuatro horas. La noche pasada, la noche pasada pero pasada. Tú, tú dormiste. Why Ajá. are you translating now? Estaba durmiendo. <risa> Porque están los tres están traduciendo. Why are you translating? I, I do. talk. Do. I talk. Ok, uh, okay. Vea, ¿con, qué, ¿con qué letra termina ese verbo, Nancy? ¿Con qué letra termina? K. Ah, ah con ah. With a K. Váyase a la, a la, al cuadrito que le di. ¿En qué columna lo pondría? What? En la de la I, D, T o D. Sí. Usted me sí. dijo walker. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería oh. la pronunciación? Nancy. Mm. Walk it. No. Walk. Walk. Walked. Very good. Walked. Very good. 
Así es como vamos It's a utilizar. Difficult. Of course, it's difficult. Oh. Mire, pónganse a pensar si, si fuera fácil aprender inglés, todo el Salvador pudiera hablar inglés. <laughs> yes, teacher. Right? Solo los brave podemos, solo los valientes podemos aprender. I walked. Very good. You That's perfect. Four times last night, but, but very good. That's perfect. We're sleeping. Okay. I okay. Okay. Perfect. Good. Nancy. Next. Next. Thank you. <laughs> we <laughs> we we along the page yesterday. We. we we along the, the pitch. Just uh, it I was I lonely. lonely. Like? Teacher, are you there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we finished. You finished? Okay, yes. can I listen to your sentences right now? We start. Uh -huh. Miguel. Miguel. Okay. okay, go ahead. I'm going to listen right now. Okay, we really mm -hmm. and uh, okay, we really enjoyed the concert last night. It was great. Perfect. I like the pronunciation at the end, Catherine. Good, good job. Number two. She, she and sorry. Go, go ahead. Yeah, me. No, no, primero la dama. Okay. She enjoyed with friends in Brinton last summer. Oh, okay. She enjoyed with friends in Brinton last summer. Mm, that makes sense. A little bit. A little she bit. She traveled, teacher. Sorry. She traveled. Very good, Margarita. She traveled. She traveled. Okay. Very good. Now it's better. That's better. She traveled. Continue, Miguel. Number three, Italy. 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 Okay, let, let's let's uh, have Miguel finish and then I, I answer your question, Miguel. Okay. Italy. Uh -huh. Played very well in the last World Cup. Okay, Italy. Okay. Eh, dígame in in this case, right? Uh, nos vamos a, vámonos a la tablita de la pronunciación, Miguel, por favor. Se me murió el otro celular. No, se me murió. Ok, I'm going to show you here, ok. Play. Ve la tablita. Yes. In the, in the table here, at the bottom of the table, it says words that end mm -hmm. in a vowel sound use the D sound. Play. Right? Played. Yeah. Very good. D. Perfect. Perfect. What was your question? Uh, was it Catherine or Margarita? What was your question? Margarita. Okay, Margarita, what was your question? Con respecto a la, a la oración número dos, mm -hmm. the verb, I say travel, but mm -hmm. is a state. It can be one or two, right? Um, Pero acuérdense que hey, ahí tenemos varias oraciones. Entonces, ¿en qué oración tiene más sentido el verbo? In what about number four? Number four. Right? Her parents mm -hmm. travel by train from Kiev to Moscow. Right? Her parents travel by tram, by train, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> by train from Kiev to Moscow. Right? So we have travel Thank is you. better. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Number two? Uh, number five? No. What about number five? Uh, we? Walking. We walked, very good. We walked along the beach yesterday. It was lovely. Right? Like when you are with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you're holding hands and you're walking on the beach, right? That, that's, that's the meaning of walk along the beach. Cuando se va ahí caminando bien romántico, lo la playa. Right? That's the meaning. Walk along the beach. Right? Okay. Now, 
we're going to go to the whole group right now. I'm going to close this um, small groups so we can all share, okay? Ustedes son los únicos que han terminado, los demás están a media, so. Right, let's see. Okay, teacher. Okay, so don't worry. Yo sé que es difícil, pero it's the only way, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Sí, es que si no, no vamos a, a, a practicar más, sino que nos vamos a ir quedando solo en lo básico, and we need to practice more difficult vocabulary, right? ¿Cuándo termina el curso, teacher? Tomorrow. Mañana se termina. Oh, Yes. Oiga, y los que somos autoempleados con los um, requisitos que estoy viendo, no, no califico. No se puede. Y tendría que comunicarse con Jonathan para ver qué otras opciones tienen ellos. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, pero ahí están los números. ¿En el grupo están? En, el, en los flyers que le mandé, en, el, en los PDFs. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ahí abajo está el número de Jonathan. Ah, llámele. Y pregúntele cuáles son las opciones. Esa es lo mejor. Could be today. Could be today or tomorrow. No, mañana. Mañana, por favor. Ah, ok. Sí. Ah, a okay. las 8 de la mañana ya está él trabajando. Por eso le decía ah, yo okay. que mañana le iba a... Le... Hello, hello. 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 Eh, disculpen. Catherine, uh, mañana, porque mañana empieza a trabajar el, el, a las 8. Okay. Nos a I, would, I would like to continue. <laughs> yeah, I know. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, I know that some of you are telling me that it's very, very difficult. And there are many answers that you can use, right? Sometimes you will feel like the verb is going to be for different sentences, right? But you need to think about the meaning of the sentence. Vamos a ver más el significado de la oración. ¿Cuál es? Hay verbos que puede ser usted, mm, este pega aquí, pero hay otro que pega más, right? So that's what we're doing, trying to understand the verbs. Vamos a entender los verbos, pero vamos a entender en el contexto, en las oraciones, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, we're okay. going to start with uh, Catherine, number two, Miguel, number three, and Margarita, number four. And then we continue with the others, right? So let's see. What's the okay. answer for number two, Catherine? We think, with, uh, I think is she stayed with friends in Brinkton last summer. Last summer, very good. She stayed with friends in Brinkton last summer. Brinkton is a city, okay? Brinkton is a city. Very good, Catherine. Miguel, Italy. Italy played very well in the last World Cup. Okay, what's the pronunciation of, of, of the verb? Italy. Miguel? Play it. Play it. Played. Very good. Italy played very well in the last World Cup. Very good. Number four. Her parents traveled by train for. To from, from Kiev to Moscow. Okay, Margarita, one more time. Her parents. Her parents tra traveled by train from Kiev to Moscow. To Moscow, very good. Uh, Nancy, I. I talked to you four times last night, but you were sleeping. I talked to you four times last night, but you were sleeping. Mm -hmm. Let's see all the words that we can use. Right. Mm. What's another word that we can use? Because when you say talk to you, it's like uh, I talked to you last night, is that you're trying to convince someone. Cuando ustedes ocupan eh, la forma que acaba de mencionar Nancy, ustedes ocupan talk, right? Talk plus the subject pronoun, I talk to you, it means that you are convincing someone. Está tratando de convencer a una persona. Eso es lo que significa, right? 
and that's not what we're doing, right? We're talking. Okay. So what would be another one? I. I found. I found. Very good. I found, I found you. you four times last night, but you were sleeping. Sleeping. Very good. Fun is not only a, a noun, it's also a verb, right? Fun is the same as saying, I call you, right? Fun is the same as call you. Very good. Let's see number six. Uh, Angel. Number six. Mm -hmm. uh, yo digo que... I say is... I think, I think, yo creo, I think. Uh, we we walking along the beach yesterday, it's lo it was lovely. It was lovely, very good. Veamos la pronunciación, right? Recuérdense que cuando tengamos clara la pronunciación, nos vamos a la tablita verde, vemos cómo termina el verbo y tratamos de imitar la pronunciación y practicarla, right? We walked along the beach yesterday, very good. Number seven. Uh, let's see, Saul. Saul. She watched the film, but she didn't like the main hero. The main hero. hero. The main hero. Very good. Hero. Num Perfect. Number eight. Uh, let's see, Esmeralda. Okay, um, eight. The man stopped work at six o'clock. Very good, very good. So, Albañiles trabajaban dos horas más. Okay, the man worked, the man stopped work at six o'clock. Very good. And let's see, number nine, the last person. Uh, Jesse. Listen the new Shakira album yesterday is great. It's great. Okay, very good. Uy, ahí me falta una palabra. Dice, I listened the new Shakira's album yesterday. It's great. Okay, very good. Very good. So you see here we have different verbs that we can use, right? And different options. Eh, yo sé que tienen trabajo que hacer, pero les voy a dejar eh, dos cositas más, ¿ok? Para que trabajemos, porque ya mañana es como que el último día. Les voy a dejar unos ejercicios que los pueden hacer en su notebook y so we can practice here at, uh, in the class. We are going to see the responses. Eh, muchos me están diciendo muy difícil, muy aquí, muy allá, pero that's the only way, right? Tenemos que, que, que tirarnos, right? Yes, teacher. A, al agua, como dicen. Okay, I'm going to put here one exercise. That exercise, we have the verbs. Those verbs are irregular verbs, right? Then we have the instruction to work with past tense with questions. Este solo es un recordatorio porque ustedes ya saben hacer preguntas. You already understand the questions. And this is a conversation. Para la conversación en clase, como ya la van a traer hecha, vamos a practicar in pairs, right? To see who finish. This is the last conversation. So we have three things that we're going to do, right? Bueno, dos ejercicios. Uno de conversación, Y el otro de preguntas. Do you have a question for today's class? Questions? In how many years did you learn English, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> for you, you think it's easy, for example, in six months? Uh, it's, not, it's not true. Que le diga no. que se va a aprender inglés en seis meses no es cierto. Por eso yo no trabajo en otras academias. <laughs> Porque quien le dice que va a aprender inglés en seis meses es natural, right? Que para tener una base sólida tiene que tener por lo menos un año, año y medio para ya ir entablando una conversación que le entiendan de forma correcta. Mm -hmm. okay. Seis meses va a aprender lo básico, va a poder decir frases pequeñas. 
pero no va a poder, por ejemplo, trabajar eh, un tiempo completo hablando inglés. Entonces, quien le diga que en seis meses va a aprender, les va a mentir. ¿Ok? Es correcto. Ok. So, I will let you go because I have another class at 9 p.m. ¿Ok? Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Okay.